Between motion open, let's simply start by uh, looking at how the UI is arranged for our use and then how we can navigate around the UI and also within the viewport. If you look at the left hand uh, corner, you're going to find the library. Within the library, that's where the material, the vegetation, the light, characters, vehicles, volumes and uh, a custom user library is located. Above here is where we can find the menus which we can use. Basically these are all you need to work inside of Twinmotion. And just in case you're working within a region here and you find it a little bit hard to travel all the way up here all the time, there's a bugger menu here that eases the stress of going up and down. Now. If you want to create something inside your scene, there are two ways of creating stuff. First of all, you can go by uh, clicking on the import button here. And using the import button, you can import your file, say, from different digital content creation apps, which could be either 3D Studio Max, Revit, Akikad, or SketchUp. And if I click on open, you're going to find the file types that it accepts so with this file type you can import files directly inside twin motion i'm going to close this and click on cancel other ways you can bring things inside of your viewport is by going over to the library section selecting a particular object you want and dragging it right into your viewport this way you can look around it by simply holding the shift with the middle mouse and you can rotate around an object you can still scroll in and scroll out to zoom closer or zoom further away from your object the ways which we can interact with our object include uh, translating this object upwards and downwards clicking over to this part and selecting rotate which gives us the ability to rotate our object to a given angle and also click and hold and using the scale which we can use to scale our object up and down you can choose to use the shortcut key on your keyboard by pressing 4 you switch to translate by pressing 5 you switch to rotate and by pressing 6 you switch to scale this would come in handy especially when you're working in a complex scene and you don't have the luxury of going here all the time to switch within the menu Getting around your object can be quite easy. When you press down the middle mouse and push up, you can move the whole scene upwards and downwards, which means you can pan the scene upwards and downwards. And if you uh, press the middle mouse, you can also pan the scene left and right. Also remember that holding the shift key with the middle mouse can also rotate the object around. So all you have to do is press down shift Hold down the middle mouse and rotate around. We can still travel inwards and outwards of our scene, not just using the mouse key alone, but also pressing W, which takes us in, A takes us to the left, D takes us to the right, and S takes us backward. You can still choose to move up and down by using E as the key to move downwards and Q as the key to move upwards. Basically your typical kind of game shortcut keys. And if for any reason you don't find uh, these shortcut keys for your moving around your scene comfortable, you can easily go over to the help menu, click on navigation and then you can switch to what navigation suits your need. So if you're coming from 3D Studio Max, you can click on 3D Studio Max and it changes automatically. Now you just have to use the Alt and the middle mouse button. If you're coming from SketchUp, you can only use the middle mouse button, then you can use Shift to Pan. Or maybe if you're coming from Revit or if you're coming from Akikad, you can also change those there. The sidebar here can be used to access the element that's been added onto your scene. For example, if I drag in this 10 meter cylinder inside here, it appears here. 
so with this we can see what and what has been added into our scene and from here onwards we can choose to either keep them or delete them or maybe just hide them just in case we don't want to see them for the time being also other uh, things you need to take note of is the eye menu which or the, the eye icon which we have here can be used to change the time of day depending on what you want to see or depending on what you're looking for or depending on the kind of scene you are uh, going for the buttons that you find here they contain various menus which we're going to look at in subsequent videos so basically this is how you get your way around twin motion if you go over to the statistics panel here and click statistics you will be able to find out uh, how many frames per second your scene is running and then you're going to find out uh, every other thing that has to do with performance issues here now it's saying good but over time if the pc begins to lag or maybe you have tons of objects in your scene and your pc can no longer refresh at a comfortable rate you're also going to be notified here hi before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen if you like what you've just seen click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.